One of the best things about having a 24 inch wide kitchen counter is that I have a 21 and three quarter inch wide door. <laughs> so we're gonna have to build this thing twice. We're gonna build it in the shop, get it all assembled, tear it all apart, reassemble it here in the truck. Hey guys, welcome back to Broke Over Land. My name is Chad and today we're going to be continuing our march towards the front of the truck. Last interior episode, we got our bench seat portions installed mostly. <laughs> and today we're going to be working on the kitchen counter area in the sink and all that stuff. So what we've got to do is we have to turn this horrible drawing into some 80-20 aluminum with a sink in it. So let's get started on that, shall we? Right? Wrong. This goes in first. Dang it. That guy comes out. Uh, this guy goes in. And we get to do it. Four million times more. Feed into slot B. Let's, dang it, did it again. Well, we ran into a couple of problems. So these bolts uh, and T-nuts are meant to go for aluminum corners and not the thin steel, stainless steel material here. So they're about 3 16 of an inch too long. The other piece of the in issue we're having is the heads are too large in diameter to fit through our guide, our rail. So in this rail here doesn't come off. So we're gonna have to cut some of these down and probably stick them in the lathe and trim off a little bit of that uh, flange. Uh, Cause I don't wanna wait for them to come in. I've already waited too long for parts. <laughs> So the fasteners that these things use are quarter 20 thread, able to be torqued to about eight foot pounds, which is what, 95 inch pounds. So I'm gonna stick a little fastener in here and we're gonna see how many inch pounds we can go up before we strip the thing off. So there's 25, 50, 75 is still good. All right, good. So we can get to 95 inch pounds. <laughs> now let's see if we can get this thing open up. Nope. Good Lord. Um, hmm. Let's just do the little quarter inch breaker bar. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Let's see if we snap this guy off. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, now let's see what kind of damage this thing does. I'm gonna blue Loctite the snot out of it and torque everything to 95 inch pounds. Okay, hamstrings are gonna explode by the time this is done. Why didn't I just put this on the bench? That's probably the question people are asking right now. Well, I would be asking it. Be like, hey dummy, how come you didn't just put that up on the bench? It's right over there. Maybe you should do that. Like now, I will. I will, calm down. We'll get to it. Gotta do some stupid stuff first. There we go. That's a little bit better. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that this microphone setup is good enough to catch my breathing. Which sounds like a labored mule. Ah, oh, dang it. Dripped some, I dripped some of the good stuff on the table. We'll just, we'll soak it up here. Don't wanna waste it. Six bucks a tube, this shit's expensive. The things that get filmed. Oh, shit. I know a lot of people are probably thinking, why the hell are you bothering to torque all these? Quite frankly, if I have to worry about doing this by hand, I am going to screw it up and snap one of these guys off. And then I would be very, very angry. I mean, there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna snap one of these off anyway, but 
At least this way, there's less of a chance of me snapping one off. We just need to flip this thing over so we can get to the back. There, almost like I meant to do it. I swear to God, guys, this shirt fit last year. <laughs> oh, COVID. Okay, so the one next thing we gotta do is uh, <laughs> take this thing all apart again, because I've gotta get this through a door that is two inches narrower than this is wide. So let's just tear this thing apart. Get going on that. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's time for a new hoodie. <laughs> when you put your uh, tool in your pocket and it comes through the front, it's probably time for a new hoodie. Ah, well, we'll put it in handle first. These moving blankets from Harbor Freight are, are the bee's knees. Nobody says bee's knees anymore, except crusty old people like me. You kids had no idea. Back in my day, the bees only had little knees. Well, it's 22 inches. Should be able to make it. Oh, I gotta go take it in the truck. Oops, that's why they make touch-up paint. Something like this-ish. Nope. Well, sort of, except less broken. Why is that not lining up? Why are you not lining Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is going to keep this out a quarter of an inch, and that is unacceptable. A sixteenth of an inch would be acceptable, but a quarter of an inch? No way. This joining plate that I use to mount, to basically join the two ends of these two pieces of plywood uh, is in my way. And with the screw depth of the screw head and the depth of that plate, um, it's pushing this out a quarter of an inch, which is unacceptable to me. So I'm going to remove it. The thing that sucks the most is I machined these pieces to match that. So now there's gonna be a little tiny gap in there. Actually, I could take this one off and just replace it with one that's not notched. Why? Why would you do that? It's a whole lot of extra work for nothing. Well, quite frankly, it's because you have a problem that deserves medication. I mean, come on. I just spent a month doing nothing on the truck because I was fretting over shrinking the bathroom stall by two inches so that I could have an even 17, 17, 17 on the drawer width on this cabinet. But that reduces my air gap behind the refrigerator before it hits the batteries to one inch. Granted, it's two inches because you've got one inch of 80-20 structure that's holding the, holding the battery in, and then one inch of actual air gap. It's not enough of a problem. That now will give us, you know, a few more inches of living space. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be much better. Yeah, it's still plenty of room to, plenty of room to poop. Okay, so if I'm here washing dishes, and that cabinet is gonna come down 19 inches, so it'll be here. If I lean over, put my hands in the bottom of the sink, put my brain bucket about is that 15 inches away. Cool, yeah, I can still reach in, do all my stuff, bah, bah, not smack my brain. And I still have enough for a 12 inch plate, which I think my plates are 12 inches. Can't remember. Crap, I have to measure those plates. Okay. Well, uh, let's see, uh, what the hell, let's just build it. All right, got our makeshift cheater box up here. So let's go get the, uh, cabinet and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay. All right. Oh, that's... 
Well, apprentice marks. <clears throat> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> My thingamajigger is, is a too tall. We'll go uh, shave a quarter inch off this thing. Be right back. Well, that's not actually going anywhere. Okay. Perfect. I like that. Of course. Perfect. That screw is right in my way. Okay. Cool. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven wall mount spots that'll go into steel. So we're good there. Eh, every once in a while something comes out, right? All right. We're running out of battery. So we uh, have our temporary corners in. We have some more on order, but those are still <laughs> waiting. Uh, we've got to make some doors. We've got some back panels to do. We've got insert pieces that, that basically just sit on top of this uh, HPDA plastic starboard. Um, and then we've got to wire in the electrical, but we've got to cut some recesses in the panel that goes on top. We have some other panels to make on the top of there. And we've got some backer boards that go insert in the back there against the wall to make it not look like plywood. We've got a little bit more 80-20 cut. Uh, we've got a few more pieces added in here. So we've gone ahead and created our, what are we going to call this thing? Sock drawer? Jump drawers? Our wardrobe. So we've got our place where we're going to have our TV and stuff like that. Our probably some cubbies up here. We've got a space that we're building over here for our electrical chase and our electrical paneling. Then we're started on our wall uh, for the shower bathroom area. Uh, the toilet's not going to be over there. It's actually going to be over here, but I got to build a base for that over here. Um, the refrigerator is going to go over there with a microwave above. Uh, the only problem is we still have a wider chunk of 80-20 on order, but that's two to three weeks out. Uh, we've got to build our, put our back wall up once we have a return wall and then we can secure our pass through and then cut the pass through in the cab. We have not done that yet. We have the piece of plywood pulled off because we're going to do a different backsplash for this thing because we ended up going with a thicker countertop. Um, we got our kitchen kitchenette put in. Uh, we still have to build the framing for that or for the, uh, what do you call it, the bottoms and stuff. But we got to wait until we plumb all of our water and electrical through there. Uh, we've got a mount. We've got our We've got to mount our water tanks. We have one over here and one over there. Um, that will slide forward. So we'll have dual uh, 47 gallon water tanks. Uh, we've got to raise the our, our little step platform. We're gonna raise that up just a little bit so that we can get our water pump underneath there and mount our accumulator tank on the back of that and get over into our calcifier, which we need to blow some holes through the floor and plumb in our hydronic heating system. We're gonna be taking these rails down. Uh, I ran out of space because we ended up adding four inches in overall height to the truck. Um, and when I did that, now my bed doesn't go all the way up. Uh, I did think of that, but I didn't think it was gonna be much of a problem, but the bed height would end up being, the bottom of the bed raised would end up being about here, which I want it to be here. So I've got new custom actuator, custom track actuators on order, which the track actuator is gonna be able to get rid of that guide rail there. So I'll just replace that with a solid piece of aluminum coming down just to kind of pretty it up. Cause I'm not gonna go ahead and, I'm not gonna go ahead and drill and tap all the holes. Cause I've got some bigger holes in there for the guide that's already there. So yeah, but anyway, it's where we are so far. So. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Click that subscribe button down below and we'll catch you in the next one. And today we're gonna kind of try and catch you up on what we've been up to for the last month and a half, almost two months, other than driving all over the country for funerals for people that died in the COVID quarantine. That's just terrible. Let's start with a different intro. And I already noticed that uh, my cut list is wrong because 17 plus 17 
plus 15 plus four is not 55. <laughs> that would be 17 plus 17 plus 17 plus four. So I'm gonna check my measurements again and we're gonna go ahead and give this another shot. <laughs> 